a question from someone asking, how do I get rid of scar tissue in my knee or how do I decrease the scarring that's in my knee? There's a couple of things there. One is you can have scarring on the skin around your knee and that may be what you're asking about and we'll talk about that a little bit. But then also you might have scarring inside of the knee. You might have some scar tissue that's built up there. The question I would ask for you is how do you know that you have scar tissue in your knee? If a doctor has told you that, you can definitely take the doctor's opinion um, as an opinion and it may be accurate, it may be not, but there's lots of things that can happen inside of your knee, either post-surgery, post-trauma. You could end up with calcification deposits that aren't necessarily scar tissue. There could be lots of things going on that actually cause the appearance or the feel of scar tissue where it may not be scar tissue. Hopefully you don't have a meniscal tear of some kind where the meniscus is actually torn away from the bone and it's folding inside of there and that could be causing what might feel like your knee to lock up from scar tissue. There's a lot of different things that can happen that may cause it to feel like scar tissue in your knee even if it's not. So that would be the first thing is to kind of investigate and one thing I always encourage my clients to do is to ask your own body what's actually going on inside of my knee. Now this may sound hocus pocusy or out there but really the best physician for you is you and if you can connect with your body and connect with what's going on in your body you can improve dramatically the results you get and also your healing by simply being able to say what is going on in my own body you can feel that you can experience it in a way that no one else can and it's part of the experience of being a human is to really dive into what does what do things feel like in your body? So I would really recommend getting into your body, getting into your own healing and asking your body, what is going on in my knee? What is it that I'm feeling? And visualize what is actually happening there. That looks different for different people. Different people visualize things differently. But I would really recommend getting into your body a little bit more and finding out what's really going on in your knee. Now if you do have scarring that's actually formed around the bones or around the tissue in your knee inside of it, one of the best things you can do I think is actually to ice your knee and then kind of work in there with your thumbs or with your fingers. Now a lot of people don't have really solid finger strength to be able to do this but if you take either thumb and put it on either side of your knee pushing down towards the lower bones in the lower portion of your leg, not towards your femur in the upper part of your leg, but pushing down towards the lower portion. You can actually kind of feel in the joint and feel where things might be having an issue. Chances are good that if there's scarring forming, it could be forming where the tendons attach to the knee or where the ligaments, so tendons attach muscle to bone, ligaments attach bone to bone, but you can feel where those attachment points are over time. You can start to go, oh, that's a tendon, especially if you study some of the anatomy of your own knee. Now, this may sound like a lot of work. You might just want someone to fix it for you. And if that's the case, um, your options really are looking into surgery or hiring someone to actually work on your scar tissue for you. And I'd really look at someone who knows what they're doing with scar tissue, someone who says, hey, I'm really good at working with scar tissue. There aren't that many of us, so you may want to look around a little bit to find someone who's really good. Okay, that's what I would recommend, at least for starters, inside of your knee. One of the things, too, that happens is people get so afraid of moving, of movement, that they say, I'm not going to move at all. I am going to just sit around and wait for this to heal. The problem is the body is not designed to sit around and wait for it to heal. There is a time for that, and that's maybe one to two weeks after the initial injury. But then over time, if you can find ways that you can move without re-injuring the area, which may involve investigating it a little bit, going to a specialist, someone who can help you with that, that is a really strong recommendation I would make. Part of that learning process for you is going to be learning how to work on your own scar tissue because you're with you 24 hours a day, it's going to be best if you can even take two minutes out of every hour and just kind of feel in there, kind of work around with it a little bit and see what you can do to heal your own scarring. That's internally. Externally, there's tons of things you can do to heal scarring on the skin. Um, if you've got some sort of external scarring, what I would recommend is the point and prick method, cross fibering. There's lots of different techniques that we offer in the How to Heal Scar Tissue 
ebook and the system. So if you'd like to check that out, you can do that at healingscartissue.com. But again, my big recommendation would be get some ice on the area, kind of cool it down a little bit, and then work in there a little bit with your thumbs or with your fingers, depending on your own finger strength, and see what is actually going on in there. Connect with your knee, as goofy or hocus pocusy as that may sound. Connect with your body, and you will feel what's actually going on in there. Either you'll feel it here, or you'll be able to feel it with your hands over time. But that process, depending on where you are in your connection with your body, may take a little time. So be patient with it. And uh, here's to looking forward to hearing how you've healed your scar tissue. You can find out more about me and the work that I do with scar tissue at healingscartissue.com.